Today in WWE 2K23, I'm giving Bray Wyatt every WWE title, and we're gonna see how many he will be holding by the end of this video. I will be spinning the wheel to determine each of his random opponents, and Bray will have a different gimmick each time. First up is the Eater of Worlds Bray Wyatt defending the IC title against the most electrifying man in sport entertainment, The Rock. We starting out hot. At WrestleMania 32, The Rock ended up defeating Wyatt family member Eric Rowan in a six second match. And I think uh, the eater of world Bray Wyatt is here to avenge all of that. The Rock got some momentum uh, going at it right now. But the Fiend gets back up right away. I mean, the eater of worlds Bray Wyatt. He ain't the Fiend just yet. Could be looking for rock bottom already. DDT. The, the Rock is putting in the work right now Bray can't do nothing I feel like at the Intercontinental Championship is walking away I'm gonna go to the top rope here Wyatt's gonna go crazy with it and a Ooh, he missed it though into a backbreaker sent him back in here rock now getting him set up for potential rock bottom he's gonna go in and he's gonna deliver it this is a problem no way this is a jobbers match Ooh. We kicked out the most electrifying elbow in sport entertainment. The Rock is about to deliver it straight from a Hollywood here to oh, he gets out of it. No way, what he's just giving him the win right now. Bray didn't even react to that rock bottom. Huge loss to kick this challenge off for Bray Wyatt. But up next is the Firefly Funhouse Bray defending the United States Championship. And we spin the wheel to see who will be his opponent. And it lands on Goldberg. Oh, These God. two for sure have some history against each other. And hopefully this is not another squash match. Goldberg kicked off with some big offense. Uh, going for a jackhammer right away. I did set this as a false count anywhere match. So it was mayhem. Which Goldberg was clearly enjoying. Giving Bray as many action as possible. I figured this will probably be the the end but he actually started making a comeback the action got back into the ring and the lights went out and instead of going for the attack bray decided to go for a weapon a couple of them actually the candlestick to use all calculated even though he didn't set up the table he did place it in the perfect position to deliver the sister abigail right on top of it getting the win and getting some revenge against goldberg he lost one title but retained another one so far and we go from firefly funhouse bray to the burn fiend holding the world title for this one we're putting him inside the hell in a cell and his opponent is gonna be the phenomenal one aj styles and of course we had to put the burn fiend inside this rusty hell in a cell which i can barely see he's taking out a table already okay ascending him oh into the steel but that's gonna be a problem for aj styles aj styles get back up though and a ddt and a swinging neck breaker aj styles back on the offense here gonna go for the kicks picks him up what is he thinking here oh to the top with a brain buster and styles already going for a phenomenal forearm here burn the fiend oh was that a left hand phenomenal forearm that cannot be it i gotta go for one brain buster again oh the lights are out hold on now where are you going why are you going for a weapon instead goes for the right hand and another one and there goes a docile of the hell in a cell i guess that they are gonna decide to go up i don't know if celebrating right now it's a good idea burn the fiend you're not oh mandible claw it doesn't count here though Oh, AJ Styles with the Styles Clash on top. Ooh. This man is crazy. What is going on right now? Somebody get down there. And the Fiend with the sister, Abigail. It is a crazy back and forth right now. The question is, who's going to go through that hole? Somebody got to go through that hole. Uh-oh. Four-way slam. No, he's going to toss him on the other side instead. Oh! <laughs> I need to check that replay in all of its glory. Michael Cole, watch your head, bro. <laughs> Well, I guess he said he don't want none because he's just getting back in right now. Oh, he's going to go for the table, though. AJ slides in. 
No, no, he's gonna drag him towards it. AJ gonna go for the suplex here. Oh, big reversal. I don't know if they're gonna use the table or not, but hopefully they will. Oh, he's gonna go for the pin for. I think this is it, actually. It's not gonna even matter anymore. He doesn't even have to do much. The burnt Athena picks up the win. Oh, no, get, get your face off AJ Styles, man. Just take the title. Another win for Bray. He is ahead now. Two to one. As we get ready for the tag team matchup. For this one, of course, we got the current Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy holding those tag team titles. And they're going to be taking on a random team. First off, it is a Seth freaking Rollins. And spinning it again, we are about to get some shield action. It is John Moxley. What are the chances? The team of Bray and Uncle Howdy got on the offense early on, showcasing how devastating of a team they can be. But that was just early on because once Seth Rollins and Moxley started clicking like back in the day it was over Seth Rollins isolated Uncle Howdy delivering a massive curb stomp and taking the title away from them so it is a two to two into the last matchup can Bray Wyatt end this a challenge and complete it with a positive score? The WWE title is on the line up next, and it is a The Fiend holding it as he will take on his greatest opponent, Randy Orton. We ain't even spinning it this time around. Randy is the final boss here, so he gets this matchup. And because these two are no strangers to one another, we are kicking it off with two finishers each. And Randy Orton just wasted one. I mean, I don't want to say he just wasted one. Now goes for a Russian leg sweep. Randy could be using that second finisher right now with a punt kick. Oh, the feet gets out of it and a cross body running straight into him. I can see a sister Abigail right away turns him around and Randy with the belly to belly. Randy, I miss you, by the way. Please come back. Stomping away. And here he goes. I'm going to go to the top rope. Randy already well drop into a pin for there's a rope break, though. And RKO, he missed it. He dogs down. Turns him around. Mandible claw apply. He's too close to the rope, so to go for a pinfall after. But that damage is going to help out. Rolls him over. I was not expecting that. Goes up for the right hand and a drop kick by the Viper. The light goes out. A fiend cannot go for a weapon this time because this is a normal matchup. Suplex and a senton right after. Oh, Mandible Claw applied once again. It's not it. Not yet. Not against the Viper. Another RKO and the fiend is going to be done for. Uh-oh. Getting him set up for the punk kick already. And the fiend eats it up. This could be it. He said, I'm not done just yet. And he's going to go for it one more time. And he delivers it. Rope break. The Fiend is getting so lucky right now. Blocking Randy Orton and across a body. Takes him towards the ring. This is uh, the time to get that sister Abigail out of his system. Or another mandible claw. This time away from the ropes too. Uh-oh. He's going to go for a pin for here. One, two. And a three kill. He beats Randy Orton, uh, retaining three titles out of the five. Positive completion on this challenge for Bray Wyatt. For more similar videos, I check out this one right here and stay sane.